Hey everyone, Howard here from your full-time RV Living and your full-time RV Living.com. Uh, today we decided to make a stop. What's that? At uh, Bucky's. We've never been here before, so we thought we'd just check this place out. It's certainly the largest gas station I've ever seen. Uh, if you, because of our 360 camera, if you take and pan forward here, you can you can look around. Uh, this. This is a Saturday morning, so I don't know if it's busier than normal, but, uh, you know, just take a look at all the traffic going on around here. We have not been inside yet, but we're going to go on in and take a look and see what this place is all about. We uh, had to make a pit stop, so we thought, oh, what the heck, let's just go ahead and check things out. And uh, Winston had to eat his, uh, his meal. So if you, if you turn around the camera and scroll down, you'll see him. He's down on the floor here. It was his breakfast time. We left early this morning, and it's now uh, about 8.30 uh, 830 in the morning, so it's time for his breakfast. So we're just making a stop and just watching all the activity going on here. There's a big 45-foot diesel pusher way down in the end. Looks like he's getting diesel, and we've got some travel trailers in here. And... Uh, there's a guy, probably can't see it from this location, but we, as we were pulling in, we noticed a 40-foot diesel pusher down over there with his trailer. He's got all four slides out, and uh, appears that he has uh, camped here. And uh, from what we know, Bucky's does not allow overnight camping. We did see a golf cart show up over there with a flashing light knock on the door. Nobody answered. Uh, so, yeah, we're not quite sure what that story is, but... Um, yeah, I don't. We're going to check and see if they allow overnight camping here. If they do, we'll let you know. But I don't think they do. Uh, so this, uh, we've been through here. We were through here last year, and the station was here. So it's not real new, but probably been around for a couple of years. And uh, again, just scroll around, just pan around, and look at all the activity going on here. It's a busy place. Pretty crazy. We didn't need fuel. We filled up at a pilot, so we're good. But certainly, would be easy to get an RV in here. So what do you think, Pam? Is this exciting? Yeah, Lindsay and Winston think it's exciting, too. <laughs> Lindsay's got a big drink of water going on here. Huh? I don't, they're not going out for a pee stop, are they? No, no. They're, 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 they're good. Too, so. Just had, a break, had to have breakfast. All right, well, we just thought we'd share what it's like to be in one of these places. Um, I don't know. They're most, we see a lot in Texas. Uh, they're starting to branch out a little bit. I think this was the first one in Alabama, which the is where we are. The first one outside of Texas, from yeah. what I know. Uh, I don't know how many more of them. We see a lot of them in Texas, but this is, uh, we're in Alabama, and so this is, uh, this is actually the first one we've decided to stop in. So. All right, well, hope you all have a great day. Howard and Pam from your full-time RV Living and your full-time RV Living.com. Have a great day. We'll see you again soon.